I can't talk about battles, Drew. Like, I literally can't. Talk about what's in your heart. What's in my heart? <laughs> No Gene? You should video him instead of me. I'm not interesting. Should I keep walking back into the track and no. get hit by a car? You wanna see me fly? And then you can like cut in one of Caitlin's laughs from when she crashes on Forza. They're like, oh my god. Usually I'm driving up from Los Angeles up to Seattle. I don't know. It was just different getting, like knowing that I live here and getting to go back home every night. I just liked it a lot. I love Evergreen. Why don't I remember everything? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, because a lot happens. Between, between streaming and shooting, I'm focusing mostly on getting the shots that I need. So a lot of times I don't think that I take in what's really happening at the event, which sounds weird. But I think it's more because I'm focusing on getting shots and making sure that my work looks good, that I don't really, it's hard to take in everything else that's also happening. And then adding streaming on top of that, I spend a lot of time interacting with my chat and showing them what I'm doing and shooting. It's hard to, I don't know, it's just hard to remember everything that happens in that weekend. Vlogging is really unnatural for me. Um, it's not that I don't care for vlogging because I think vlogging is cool. It's just um, I really like streaming because it feels more authentic for me 
whereas with vlogging I have to like sit in front of a camera and repeat things multiple times uh, to make sure that I got the right shot or like that I said the right thing whereas when I'm streaming it's whatever comes naturally to oh my god <laughs> comes naturally to me at that time um, whatever it is that I like to say like I just say it and like that's that's how it is you know with vlogging it's like something that's gonna be the video is gonna be there as long as I keep it up um, which could be forever it could be for a short period of time and with streaming, whatever I streamed, my video on demand is just there for two weeks and then it's gone. So with vlogging, I feel like you have to be more perfect with everything that you're saying and you want to make sure that you, I don't know, represent yourself the right way. It just doesn't feel as authentic for me personally, though maybe the way that I'm doing it is more authentic but even so I'm still I'm not sitting here interacting with chat I'm just staring at a camera and talking to it and trying to think of things to say that like I don't know it's hard to explain I like I like having the real-time interaction with people versus just talking to a camera it feels different <laughs> uh, the post on my Instagram that I recently made was just it was talking about social media because a lot of times, well not a lot of times anymore, but sometimes I get bummed out when I go, I go and I look and I see other people getting hired to do things. Um, and it makes me feel like, because I don't get hired as often, it makes me feel like people don't like the work that I produce. Maybe that I'm just not as good as other people. And I think a lot of people took it to mean that I was saying that I look at other photographers and I think, wow, they're so great. None of my photos are like theirs. But that's not how I ever have really viewed photography. Like I can appreciate other photographers' photos. Um, but I never look at them and think, wow, I wish that my photo looked like that. Because for me, it's very internal. Um, I don't really like to compare myself to other photographers. I like to just like see what I did and then uh, build on that or make it better or if I didn't like it it has nothing to do with other people but the things that I get jealous about are other people getting work because it makes me feel like my work just isn't as good as theirs even though that's not necessarily what it is and I know that's not necessarily what it is but Sometimes it just feels like that. And so the advice that I was given, it kind of felt more like people thought that I get jealous of other people's social media numbers or their photography. And those aren't really the, those really, really aren't the things that bother me. <laughs> I don't know. It's tough to explain. It's tough to articulate myself with this because I don't, I don't know how to make it sound like, I don't know. I don't know how to like articulate my thoughts completely <laughs> with that because I don't want to sound like a dick. I don't like being jealous and I don't get jealous that often. <laughs> cool.